What do you say today about to sing in totality is the same thing that when I speak about to know, to know God. We spoke about that yesterday, and that is the point. If you try to understand God with your mind, you want to, to, to know God with a part of what you really are, the, the heart. The head, the, the mind is a part. And when you try to feel God, when you are a sentimental part, you are a heart, you are a part too. And with a part it's impossible to know the divine. To know the divine is when you are in a totality. Is something when, for example, when Adam Yadaev Chava, when you love somebody, when you love somebody and you feel him and you hear him and you understand him and you if you love him with your totality, because that is the only way to to be in communion with the totality. And the divine is the totality, is everything. The divine is the trees, the ocean, the birds, the sunshine, the moon, everything, the total. And to understand, to feel, to know something of the to be in communion with the totality, you have to be total. You cannot we say yesterday that it's impossible to understand God because to, under, to understand something is only when this is something separate from you, something different from you. But you are divine. Your essence is divine. What you really are is the divine. It's not something that is separate from you. So, in that way, it's impossible to understand God with your mind. In another way, hmm? As the Rabbi Shneur Zalman Miladi in the Tanya, he said that when you love God, it's not the totality, because you love somebody else, something different from you. The most uh, elevated plane is Ilu Ativ Haitiv. Ilu Ativ Haitiv. So that is the sentence. If I know him, I am him is to be something. To know the Divine is to be something. It's not to understand something different from you, something that is in another place. To, to know God is to know yourself. And to know yourself is to be something. Because you cannot put yourself aside in some place and to say, oh, I know Him. No, to know yourself is to be something. Mm. <clears throat> And that is the way of the Torah, is to be something. To know where you are is to be something. Ayaka, where are you? Where are you? You're in the head, in the finger, in the legs. Where you are? Ayaka. That is the question of the Torah. Where you are. Not your body, not your mind, not your words, not your feelings, but you. And when you discover this, you discover God. So, first of all, if we want to experience something of the Divine, the first thing is to be total, to be a totality. Because when you are total, you are in communion with the totality. In the, <coughs> in the Talmud, they say, Tafasta meruvelo tafasta. Tafasta muat tafasta. How is it in English? Why? Because you cannot divide the divine. The divine is one. Einod mi levado. There is nothing without the divine here. And because you cannot divide the true. If you catch little, you catch everything. Only little. If you take even a part, you you catch everything. So when you catch your really what you really are, your center, you catch all the divine. Because you you cannot divide him, and when you you catch meruve, when you catch tafasta meruvelo tafasta tafasta muat 
Chitta Fasta. It is very simple. When you perceive the diversity, when what you perceive is the multiplicity, the objective reality, you didn't catch consciousness. As long as you perceive the multiplicity, different objects, different people, and you perceive yourself as an object, as a subject that perceives that perceive an object like your body, your thoughts, your emotions. As long as you move in a world of multiplicity, you didn't catch it. What you didn't catch it? You didn't recognize consciousness. When you can recognize consciousness, you can recognize when you recognize the one. What? The, 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 the smallest, the little, only yourself. When you are able to perceive your real nature, what you really are, then you catch it. That is what we, what we call the recognition of consciousness. Who cannot learn Torah and prostitute in Hebrew, it's impossible to understand Torah. Because the language has so many, you know, <laughs> When people try to translate my books to English or to Spanish, it's impossible because you take the Hebrew and you can do so many <laughs> things there. <clears throat> so now you are in the position that you can perceive the Merove. Uh -huh. Many forms, names. And you have to catch the Muat, little, the little as much as you can. And when you and that is enlightenment, to catch yourself, to catch what you really have. And the most important thing is not to try to learn about another person, yeah, about the Rabbi Nachman, about the Baal Shem Tov, about Moshe Raveno, as to try that what happened to them happens to you. And that is the most important thing. You can know a lot of things, a lot of energies, a lot of uh, theories, a lot of gurus, of masters, and to know everything about meditation, about God, about gurus, about Torah, about. But this about, everything is in a great distance from you. And that is the reason that all the Jewish traditions don't say to, I hope that one day, in five years or ten years, the Mashiach will come. We want Mashiach, Mashiach now, in this moment, in this moment all the time in this moment, because Mashiach can come only in this moment. Hmm? כי מישהו שמתנהג בצורה לא נכונה, והולך בדרך הלא נכונה, פירושו של דבר שהתורה עוד לא נקלטה. האמת עוד לא נקלטה. אז עיר מקלט זה יהיה מקום שאני הולך ואני יכול להקדיש את עצמי ולקלוט את האמת. וזה המקלט האמיתי. ברכנו אבינו כולנו כהך. כולנו כהך בהור פניך. הנו אבינו כולנו כהך וכולנו כהך. ברכנו אבינו כולנו but you know something today we speak in English because we have a what's your name Sharon from New York so you can chant this song that uh, all the universe sing. I, I like this song in the day of uh, 
רבי שמעון בר יוחאי, בל"ג בעומר, she left his body, and it's so nice that everybody, they make menorah, uh, medurot, and fire is so nice, and that day we chant this song. She's singing a song.